And then I was like, oh, shit, he actually he actually tried that against me. And I was like, oh, buddy, you yeah. opened a new can of worms. Yeah, exactly. It What's up, everybody? This is the act attorney here giving you a little status update on the whole quantum TV business. Um, it has been taking a while. Uh, and part of that's because I've been compiling every bit of information on him in regards to his harassment of other YouTubers. He actually tried that against me, and I was like, oh, buddy, you yeah. opened a new can of worms. There's the copyright abuse, the homophobia, transphobia, the hate speech, the bigoted posts, um, just everything he's done, uh, and I'm compiling it all into a single document that I will then forward to YouTube. Oh, buddy, yeah. you opened a new can of worms. So... I would like your guys' help in getting him removed from the platform permanently um, that we can bring to this tweet so that, you know, we get as much evidence as possible against him because there truly is no shortage of it. A few moments later. He <laughs> this to court if i have to i'm fully willing to take youtube and quantum tv to court now fully willing a dragon never yields one they said yes the video was removed for unwanted sexualization they wouldn't confirm to me if this was it, it literally just in reference to that cucumber picture which apparently uh, has become a massive part of but they did confirm it was for unwanted sexualization so that the suspension is actually the suspension of monetization is actually not connected to your videos um, what they said is that it is connected to a tweet of yours that has since been deleted where you threat threaten to dox and harass the families of YouTube employees and creator families so just to be clear so that we can kind of get past it you did not publicly mention the reason you were suspended being related to the tweet because of why I didn't reveal that because at the time I wasn't sure what information I should be sharing I didn't reveal that information not to mislead people but because I didn't know if I should in your mind because I know you said you wanted to kind of keep this tight what would you love now that we have like confirmation that it's two separate situations of tweet and video? What is your ideal world of how things proceed from here? Looking into sharing Quantum's abuse of the copyright system with important people at YouTube, uh, as this is something that can lead to the termination of your channel. And I responded and I said to him, imagine having a take on Elden Ring that's literally so bad that you end up getting banned for it. That's too fucking bad, isn't it? That is just too fucking bad. I can counter sue you if you come after me. I will win and I will clean you out. You will sell that wedding ring on your finger. You will sell your house and any valuable possessions you have for wasting my fucking time. I'm the act attorney, of course. I win every case. I suggest you make peace with whatever content you wish to publish on your channel before you see this screen again. And quantum, you're gonna see it again. Because it does look like online, things are really escalating. And so what I'm kind of hoping with this is like, we have what they're saying, we have what you're saying. How would you like to see it? If like, this is this is your, instead of having to make a whole video on your channel, what would you say? I hope my channel obviously gets re-monetized and I hope those videos that were age restricted uh, come back as well. Um, <clears throat> I hope Quantum is also rightfully terminated for, you know, being so terrible on the platform. I'm the act attorney, of course. I win every case. Yeah, your channel should be deleted because you're a plague on the community and you're threatening people's livelihoods. But yeah. He, call he called my mom 42 minutes after the copyright abuse video went up. Now that video is 31 minutes long, so he, he had time the whole to- thing and then he just went right to yeah. it. Well, he finished the video, you know, maybe took a nice shit, yeah. uh, maybe got himself a little snack and then called my mom. And so, like, what did he say to your mom that made you feel uh, like it was a threat? Besides the fact of just contacting her in the first place, which, in my opinion, is completely over the line. Yeah, it was kind of just like intimidation tactics. And 
the way he was talking to her yeah. is just like anytime I, I was like, man, should I press through with this dark age of YouTube video? I went back and I would just listen to the way that he talked to my mom and I was I would just get this fire inside me like, fuck it. I'm going to work. I'm going to work 14 hours on this video today. And, and you, you said, know? yeah, and you said on your thing that if he ever came on your property, you'd shoot him, right? Or threatened you or, or yeah. anything like that. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. I, I and and there are some people that criticize this. Right. I think it sounds just about fucking right. You threaten somebody's family. You you take things into the real life sector, and uh, you better expect that's going to happen. I think that's what should happen. And so yeah, yeah. I I completely support that. You yeah. opened a new can of worms. I'm the act attorney, of course. I win every case.